Hello friends, in this video we will see order by in AngularJS. Now order by is a built-in Angular filter which orders the collection objects. The arrays are ordered alphabetically for strings and numerically for numbers. Now in simple language, order by is a filter which we can use to sort or order the collection either in ascending order or in the descending order. Now how to use order by in AngularJS? Now you can use order by in two ways. Either you can use it as a directive or filter in the HTML page or you can use it as a function in the JavaScript. So when you use in the HTML template binding, we basically use order by along with ng-repeat. So ng-repeat is a directive which we use to iterate over the collections. So assuming that this order by expression is a collection, we, we have to specify a pipe operator. Then we have to specify the name of the filter that is order by then we use a colon and then we specify an expression now this expression can be a condition which will be evaluated or it can be a name of a property by which you want to sort the collection so that property should be part of that collection and then the third argument is reverse so basically it accepts two values true or false so if you pass true the collection will be ordered in descending order in the reverse way if it is false then it will be in the ascending order now this parameter is optional if you don't pass anything the collection will be sorted in the ascending order now while using with the javascript you just have to use the order by function then you have to pass the three parameters to that function that is array the collection expression the name of the property and the reverse basically true or false which is optional the order by can be used effectively while ordering great records based on the columns. Now in this video we will implement a simple sorting feature for grid using order by so that we can see how order by works more well along with the grid. So this is the screenshot of the grid we are going to use and this is the order by functionality or sorting functionality we are going to implement. And just for the note, we are going to use the same example created while crude operations. So let's move to our solution. So this is my solution and it renders like this. So this is the collection of players being rendered inside the grid. Let me refresh it. Okay. Now you can see it is being rendered in any random order of the name. And let me walk through to the solution. So this is the player list.html which renders the grid. It is connected to main controller of controller.js and this is the ng-repeat directive which we have used to iterate over the collection. Now let, let, let's start with the HTML part of order by. Now we are going to order the grid based on ascending order of the name. So I have to use the pipe operator. Then I have to specify the name of the filter that is order by. Then comes the expression. So expression is basically the name of property so name is my property you can see it is a part of collection name all right now it will order my grid in the ascending order of the name suppose i want it to be descending order then i have to pass true here and if i refresh now you will see in the descending order of the name similarly if i don't want this to pass the third parameter to pass even i can specify a hyphen here which also signifies the same thing that is descending order of the collection so this is how you can use order by in the html part now similarly we can do it in the javascript as well so this is my controller.js now in order to use the order by filter in javascript we have to inject the filter service or the order by filter to our controller so in order to do that let's inject filter service so i have to specify dollar filter here similarly to this function and from this service i'm going to fetch the order by filter specifically so let me have a variable that is order by and i'll use service constructor to get order by filter so now I have an order by filter in this variable now what I'm going to do is now in this code 
we are fetching the data from this function so this function is a factory function which gets data from the database and assigned to list players collection and then this is, is this list player collection is binded to the HTML view so we are going to sort this list here so I say order by the first parameter is the collection second I want to order it by age this time alright now if I refresh it now you can see the grid is being ordered in the ascending order of the age if I pass true as a third parameter it will be in the descending order of the age similarly if I don't want to pass this parameter I can specify a hyphen here then also it will order it in the descending order now in this example we have injected the dollar filter service now instead of injecting the entire service we can inject the individual filter as well so for that I have to specify order by filter and here I have to specify the object name then the angular.js will inject it as a dependency injection now we don't need this line and it will work as expected similarly if I remove this hyphen it will be in the ascending order of the H so this is how order by works both in HTML as well as in the JavaScript now what we are going to do here is let's uncomment this and get the list back to the normal alright now what we are going to do is in the if you have noticed in the traditional grid or in the kendo grids or many other third party grids when you click on this header so this header is basically an anchor they render this header as an anchor and when you click on this the grid sorts in ascending order if you click again then it sorts in the descending order so we are going to implement the same behavior so let's go to our html and we are going to render this name as anchor alright similarly we are going to do for each one of them alright if I refresh it bug so let me refresh it so it is back to normal now these are rendered as an anchor now now when I click this name I want the grid to be sorted based on the name so for that I have to bind this anchor link to a function or a behavior which will be present in our controller and which will be called when I click this anchor so in order to do that I have to use ng click directive and I have to name the function so we say order grid alright and we are going to call this function now we have to create this function body as well this behavior as well in our main controller so we create it on our view alright and then we are going to order the collection based on the name so for that we say so our filter is this order by and then we pass the collection that is in the scope dot list players and I want it to be ascending order of name and then I am going to assign this back to our scope alright now let's refresh my page and click on name alright there is some problem here Okay, I missed order by here so let me refresh it again if I click on name so it is ordering the grid in the ascending order of the name 
now I want this name to be passed as a parameter to this function so for that I have to pass a name here similarly we are going to have this behavior for all our anchors or all our headers and we are going to pass the name of our respective header all right and in this function we are going to accept an argument so we say order by argument and we'll use this argument instead of hardcode name so by this so when you click on name it will be ascending order of name when you click on club it will be ascending order of club when you click on country it will be ascending order of country and so on now the next behavior we want is when we click on this name once it is ascending order of the name when i click again it should be descending order of the name for that so in order to make it descending either we can pass the true here we have to pass the true we have to pass true as a third parameter or we can pass this argument with a hyphen so in order to compare whether the link is being clicked for the second time we have to capture the first argument so for that let's have a variable in scope saying grid ordered by and we save the argument in this variable okay and before sorting we are going to check if our scope variable grid ordered by is equivalent to or equal to the argument which is passed so that means the link is being clicked for the second time then we are going to reset this with a hyphen so that the grid will be ordered in the descending way okay and if you again do it so the next time this value will be a normal name and then it won't get into this if condition so let me refresh it so if i click on name ascending order again descending order suppose h if i click for the first time ascending order for the second time then descending order so we have achieved the behavior of sorting which we see in most of the third party controls now one more thing missing here is the image which tells us that whether the grid is in the ascending order or descending order so we are going to implement that as well now for that i already have a sprite image with me which has such images that is arrow towards up and towards down and for those images i have already created the css classes now to check whether the css classes work or not so let's have two anchor tags and i'm going to apply these classes to them the first class is ascending and second class is descending now you can see these are the two images we are going to use for our headers so they are rendering properly all right now we are going to render this anchor tags here and similarly let's have so now we want this class to be ascending or descending based on the click if we click for the first time that means it's ascending and when we click on the second time that means it's descending so we cannot hard code the class name here so we have to use ng class directive and we'll have a variable which will be populated based on the link clicked so if it is clicked for the first time it will be ascending otherwise descending so we will set this in our controller so for this we have to make it a variable that is grid ordered direction we are going to say grid ordered grid ordered and similarly this class will apply to all our anchor tags so let's have this anchor tags for all the headers alright and what we are going to do is we are going to set this 
scope property here so let's have a variable order direction and we'll assign ascending as default and inside this if this order direction will become descending all right and then we are going to set the property that is on the scope which we have binded here grid order to our order direction okay so let's refresh our view and let's click on the name for the first time so that means it is in the ascending order and then it's in descending order now you have noticed that this image is available for all which creates a confusion where the grid is sorted by which of the column so this is because all the all the columns has the same class variable so we have to differentiate this class variable as per our property name so we are going to create four variables that is grid order name club country and age similarly here we are going to have a simple switch case on the arguments which is passed to this function and then we are going to have four cases here so the first case would be for the name for ascending order and hyphen name for the descending order and here we are going to set this direction and the variable name would be grid order name similarly we'll have this case for all our four properties and let me rename it quickly so the next property is country similarly our last property is age This will do for us and we have to remove this entirely now if I refresh my view if I click on the first header ascending order an image is available only on this if I click it again then descending order now if I click on country the image comes here but this image doesn't go so for that we have to reset all the variables here before we are assigning any value okay let me update club country and age now if you try it will work as expected and if I choose country then this image will be here if I choose club then it will be here so this is how you can implement sorting using order by filter and you can achieve what third party controls shows in terms of ascending and descending order sorting so this is all about order by filter in AngularJS I hope you like it thank you